Lotus Evaya. Now, Lotus is renowned for making great sports cars. This is their first ever effort making a proper all-out supercar. And boy, did they come out swinging with this thing. The facts and figures on the Avaya are frankly shocking. 2,000 metric horsepower. That's around 1,980 horsepower in American. 1,250 pound feet of torque. It weighs just 3,600 pounds, which for a modern supercar is quite lightweight. Of course, the whole thing is made of carbon fiber. The price, equally shocking, $2.5 million with a very interesting supercar fitting buying experience, which I'll, touch, which I'll touch on in a second. Of course, being a supercar, its top speed is well over 200 miles an hour, though the acceleration getting there is the much more important thing. Zero to 60 happens well under three seconds. Zero to 180 miles an hour happens under nine seconds. And the craziest thing of all, it's electric. mid-mounted electric batteries means the Avaya is the most powerful production car the world has ever seen. Now, this gorgeous bodywork is as aerodynamic a new production vehicle as you've ever seen. And that's great for those 200 plus mile an hour top speed runs, but it also helps with overall efficiency on this vehicle. It actually helps with 2,000 metric horsepower electric supercar having claimed range of over 250 miles. Interestingly, Lotus is still holding a few secrets close to his chest, including that downforce number. They claim it produces a lot of downforce, but they wouldn't put a specific number on this vehicle, just yet at least. Though, it's worth noting the Avaya uses Formula One style DRS to dynamically deploy all the different aero tricks the body has hiding underneath the skin. That skin, of course, is made entirely of carbon fiber. It's easily noticeable as soon as you open the doors. Once you do open those doors, you're treated to a really gorgeous interior. Everything is obviously made of carbon fiber. The flat brimmed steering wheel is clearly F1 inspired due to Lotus heritage and all the materials look and feel top-notch. The fact that everything in the dash appears to be floating is a very cool effect. Now, Lotus' internal code name for the Avaya was Type 130, so fittingly, they're capping the production of this vehicle at 130 units worldwide, and supposedly just 35 are coming to the United States. And as you'd expect from a two and a half million dollar supercar, the buying process is unlike anything else. In fact, Lotus is giving prospective buyers this little booklet to explain how it all works. Now, let's run through it. First, you register your intent to buy. That's not that uncommon. You call your preferred dealership, say, I want to buy this car, and they get the process going. Then from there, there's a $300,000 deposit the vehicle, which is refundable if you decide to back out. Then you have the car spec deposit. That's an additional $300,000 secure as the specific specifications for your Avaya that you want. That's your interior, exterior colors, things like that. Now, once they put your car's spec deposit in the system, they want to start building the car. But before they do, they need the build deposit. That's where they ask another $700,000 to secure your spot means they're going to build your vehicle to your specifications. For those keeping count, that's $1.3 million at this point. Then they build the car, deliver it to you, and collect the remaining balance, which is another $1.2 to $1.3 million, depending on how you go with your Avaya. At this event alone, 10 people expressed their interest to buy two Lotus directly. And of course, when only 35 are coming to the United States and it's the latest, greatest, most powerful car the world's ever seen, they're going to sell out fast. And once they're gone, they're gone.